Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And allow me to welcome you back again. And I want to wish you a happy and prosperous new year. This is the third day of the year 2021. And just like I opined in one of my videos some two days ago, the politics of 2027 will actually be determined in the year 2023. So we'll be monitoring any slight political development in this country and bringing them to you live. And as we speak, tension is actually very high in Kenya Kwanzaa over plans to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. So in this video, I want to try and explain to you guys the objectives of that impeachment plan whether it will succeed or not. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, what we do here is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find any other place. So the best thing you can do is to give, I mean, is to subscribe to this channel by pressing that subscribe button right now. And of course, for those who support the channel, this is the moment for you to just press that thumbs up button. And just like, uh, you know, it's New Year, I've been receiving a few gifts here and there. And I want to thank two gentlemen who I received their New Year gift. I received only from two gentlemen, so I want to thank you guys for that. Now, what does the con Constitution of Kenya say <clears throat> about impeaching a sitting Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya? Impeaching the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya is just similar to impeaching the president of the Republic of Kenya. Article 150 of our constitution explains the process and the grounds of impeachment. And it gives four grounds. Number one is normally the ground on uh, physical or mental incapacity to perform the functions of the office of the president. So if, for example, the president is involved in an accident, serious one, and out of that accident, he can no longer perform his duties because of the physical injuries and the rest, or maybe if, for example, he develops some mental issues, then that can be a ground to remove the president. Of course, it applies to the deputy president. The second ground is normally gross violation of the provisions of the constitution so far i don't see any part of the constitution which rigadi gashagwa has violated just like number one there rigadi is sound and is fit so you can't remove him on the first ground ground two of uh, gross violation of the co provision of the con constitution i'm still not very sure the third ground is normally crime under national and international law I'm not sure whether Rigadi has committed either of those. And the last ground is normally gross misconduct. And of course, the person who is pushing for the impeachment, who is the member of parliament for Bumula, uh, Wamboka, <laughs> Honorable Wamboka Wamani, according to him, Rigadi Gashagwa has failed to represent the face of Kenya. And that Rigadi Gashagwa is basically focusing on the interest of the mountain. And personally, I've opined on this platform severally that Rigadi Gashagwa needed guidance. He needs to move beyond Mount Kenya. He should move away from uh, being port portrayed or projected as the leader of Mount Kenya. But how will this impeachment plan impact on uh, William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza. Or basically, let me ask this way. Why is this plan to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa causing serious political headache in Kenya Kwanza? The truth of the matter is that I am not sure whether it can succeed. It cannot succeed. I'm sure it will be a tall order for anybody who wants to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa to succeed. But bringing impeachment motion against Rigadi Gashagwa will actually serve certain political objectives. 
the first objective which it will uh, serve is that it has the potential of tainting the image of Rigathi Gashagwa. For example, if someone really wanted to hit Rigathi Gashagwa to make him appear as a tribal leader, they can do that. Number two, it can also be used to test his leadership. How is he going to act? But for me, I'm looking at Kenya Kwanzaa and I understand why they are worried about these plans. Number one, if this motion will see the light of the day. Of course, uh, let me make it clear, the Bumula member of parliament is actually a member of uh, DAP Kenya, associated with Eugene Malwa. No link to Mudavadi. But being a lawyer, the members of parliament from the mountain believes very strongly that Mudavadi is behind this gentleman. But number one, this impeachment is likely to ignite a fallout in Kenya Kwanzaa. That's the honest truth. And you can learn from uh, Kibaki, Raila. You can learn from Uhuru, Ruto. Raila campaigned for Ruto, for Uhuru. I mean, Raila campaigned for Kibaki while Kibaki was on a wheelchair. They fell out. Ruto campaigned for Uhuru Kenyatta. They fell out. So, this impeachment has the potential of causing serious fallout in Kenya Kwanzaa. Remember, Ruto is not very keen on having someone from the mountain to succeed him. The mountain are also trying to come up or to come out very strongly to defend their interest. And their interest is the deputy president, Riyadi Gashagwa, in the hope that after 10 years, Ruto will support Riyadi Gashagwa just the way they supported him. So, because Ruto is working on someone from the mountain and because the mountain is also keen on the presidency, serious fallout is likely to emerge. Because so far, Ruto has assured Muslim Dabari that he's going to support him for the presidency in 2032. And that's why Muslim Dabari has been trying to move around to consolidate Western Kenya and not for his bid, but for William Ruto's re-election. So it's likely to cause that fallout. Number two, that impeachment, if it will ever happen, is likely to shape the politics of 2027. And which begs the question, is Ruto keen on going into the 2027 election with Rigati Gashagwa as his running mate? And if he's keen on that, why is he not really defending Rigadi Gashagwa as he should. Probably because of politics, he wants to tame Rigadi Gashagwa. How do you tame a politician? You let him fall into a ditch, get him out of the ditch, then he will uh, start following you blindly. So I'm trying to think that Ruto is actually waiting for uh, this impeachment motion to go to parliament, then Rigadi Gashagwa will then go and beg him for support. And then the, the, the entire motion will fall. So Ruto will, be, I mean, Rigadi will believe that it's Ruto who helped him. And therefore, in return, Ruto will then support him. But at, ultimately, it's going to shape the 2027 election. If it will be brought on board, it will define the relationship between Ruto, lawyer leaders, and the mountain. Number three, it's likely to also derail. Kenya Kwanzaa development agenda. You know, William Ruto became the president of the Republic of Kenya by winning the hearts of the poor people. He convinced them that Uhuru Kenyatta government failed. And of course, Jubilee government failed in the first term. In the second term, it was just a continuation. But Ruto made them believe that Jubilee government actually failed in the second term because of the handshake. So when he took over, he made promises. Some of those promises cannot be achieved. So which means if a war were to erupt in Kenya Kwanzaa, William Ruto's development agenda is going to be derailed. And it will simply mean that William Ruto will not have a platform to campaign on in 2027. 
because if the government will fail the opposition will have a field day already Raila Odinga is just waiting for the meat to drop so as he can pick and number 4 if this motion is going to come up then there is a possibility of handing the opposition one of the lethal things they've been waiting for propaganda tools because if Rigathi Gashagwa will be attacked by his own party because what the expectation is if this motion will be brought to parliament by a, a DAP Kenya members of parliament and then say some real leaders support it in the name of siding with the, with the Eva and Sakaja what will it mean? Opposition will now have a propaganda tool which they can use against Kenya Kwanzaa. And lastly, I think the politics of betrayal is likely to also be at play. And just like I keep on saying, in politics there are always two constants. The first constant in politics is betrayal. You can't run away. If you check the history world over, it's full of betrayal. And the other constant in politics is normally interest, as long as interests are merging. So the politics of, in, of uh, betrayal is going to come up because Ruto will then be accused of betraying Rigadi Gashagwa in favor of uh, the lawyer leaders. And the lawyer leaders also understand that for them to succeed in 2013, Rigadi Gashagwa ought to be out of the picture. So I don't know what you think, but for me, I think those are some of the interesting facts about Rigadi Gashagwa's proposed impeachment, which is likely to happen in the first quarter of the year. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you, guys, and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.